It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the cards and the bucks. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, the vibe, a different one here in Tampa this year. This is year 1AB after Brady. What can they do to help soften the blow? I would say try and lean on the defense a little bit more. I think they'll play a lot better in 2023. We know how exotic they can be with how they get after the quarterback. Make sure they slow people down running the ball as well. Give this offense a chance to grow because they are under new management. And for the visiting Cardinals, you know, this is a team in flux a little bit. J.J. Watt retired. There's a new coaching staff in place. They've got some work to do to turn around what was a 4-13 campaign in 2022. I remember this franchise won 11 games in 2021, but everything's new now. Head coach, the way they're going to run things on offense, style of play on defense, but sometimes that change can be really good. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. The former number one overall pick has had his ups and downs in recent seasons, but he finished strong last year and inherits a really good offense in Tampa that should set him up for success. Now a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And they work this right up field across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Effort play from B.J. Ojolari to drop him for a loss. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a long. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. B.J. Ojolari getting in there and dropping him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. To throw Mayfield. This is White on the screen. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Jake Fourth Camarda down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Greg George, deep for Arizona. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. He and Arizona came together on a hefty contract extension before last season. But injuries, yeah, they caused everyone to take a step backwards last year. But when healthy, Kyler Murray, still a big play waiting to happen on every snap. 
Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. To throw is Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. For this defense, CD, and going up against Kyler Murray here, what's the secret to keeping him in check? <laughs> Having better athletes than him, which is really unrealistic. So I go way back in football. They used to have a coverage called the umbrella coverage with four defenders back deep. Now you want to try and move that umbrella up front with Kyler Murray, kind of surround him and keep him hemmed into the pocket because if he breaks out, he's going to hurt your defense in a big way with his legs. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Connor going to get it again on second down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll work down inside the 45. Well, now after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football for the catch. And he's right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something the defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Bucs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they obviously red man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. By that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They'll go up the middle with White, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out, because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Mayfield. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, OK, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 16. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh shot of downs. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, 
sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And third and one now. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Mayfield to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Now Mayfield on fourth down. And it is caught. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin from six yards away. And the Buccaneers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no coach. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Murray now to throw. He completes it to Wilson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Murray as he sets to throw it. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Murray again, this is counter. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Connor, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Play fake, Murray. And that is incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a four-point game. But Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's <laughs> the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 61 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. First down, Mayfield. And this is caught by Evans. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Mayfield on play action. This is caught by Evans. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark it down at the 9. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. Here's White. He pushes forward from maybe three down to the six-yard line. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Once again, it's White. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 
Rashad White, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to extend their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted, so you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. A solid stick on. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? On first and 10, here's Murray. Breaks a tackle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now Murray. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Marquise Brown, 29 yards. And the Cards have cut it back within a score. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say, if we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Offense heading back out, and with him comes Rashad White. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. The drive starts with a run by White. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. 
Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. Mayfield. He finds his target, it's Evans. And they work this well up field across the 35. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen, but this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mayfield off the play fake. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. First down throw for Mayfield. This is White on the screen. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years of not screaming out. Screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now second and three. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That when he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Mayfield now. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. He's got some room to operate, and the Buccaneers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. It's good, and it's 21-10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Thank you. 
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And Greg Dorch now to return it. And he returns this to the 22. And the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. Greg Dorch returning. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Third quarter starts with a run from Connell. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Connor going to get it again on second down. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again to about the 33-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Connor looking for space. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one good for 33 and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. 
And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. A give running right is counter. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. 22 yards for James Conner, and the Cardinals are back within a score. So there you go. They needed a big play, and they got one there on the touchdown run. And that was a very important drive. Of course, they all are when you're trailing in the second half. But what I really liked, they didn't panic. They knew they still had time to run the football and keep playing their game. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. And this one is gone. So they come up with a two-point conversion. And that makes this a one-point game now. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the drive with a give to Wayne. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have the Bucs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. First down, here's White. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. Now Mayfield. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. The sack goes to Chris Barnes. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, 
And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Now here comes Dorch on the return. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Cards will take over first and ten. James Conner in the Cardinal offense ready to get back to work. And you see the last drive, great chunk of yardage, the touchdown on five carries. And offensively, everything just looked in sync, didn't it? It did, and, and the reason that it was in sync is because it's a combination of play calling, game plan, offensive line marrying up with all of their blocks. But don't forget the receivers out on the perimeter. Any type of a long run, the receivers have had a hand in that because they've occupied people downfield. And of course, give the big credit to the man with the football. Great vision, good movement, gets to the end zone. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. This is Connor running right. And Connor going to pick up a Cardinals first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. There he goes, left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 152 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second and three from the nine. Here's a Florida native from up near Pensacola. It's Michael Carter. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Murray going to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. On second down, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray 
taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. Kyler Murray, to the surprise of no one, finished second amongst quarterbacks with 11 rushing touchdowns in 2020. Just three in 11 games in 2022. But let's face it, anytime he's maneuvering around, we expect him to take off and go, and he did it on that play. Extra point good by Prater, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. They had that lead that is now gone. It is completely gone. Now how does that affect the psyche? Or am I reading into that too much? They should be okay still? No, you're not reading into it too much at all. You've got to wonder what the psyche is of a team because once you build up a lead and things are rolling pretty well, you don't expect it to change. And for it to change this dramatically, and now they're the team doing the chasing, yeah, you want to check out where they are mentally and whether or not they have it in them to come back. We'll soon find out. Yeah, they're on their heels a bit right now. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The credit Chris Barnes rushing in there and hitting him for a loss. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, they'll run with White. A little juke. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Mayfield. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, the tide definitely seems to be turning in this third quarter as this defense is able to knock the ball free and recover. And let's look at it this way. Their offense is right back out there who just got them the lead a few minutes ago. This has the potential to be a big swing in this game. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's had a good third quarter. He likes whatever adjustments were made at halftime, whether those were team adjustments or just him talking to himself. And whatever that conversation was, it was pretty good because he is running really well here in the third quarter. But I like to think it is a team adjustment. Offensive line, those big escorts of his, they figured out how to block a little bit better, and he's found those holes to run through. He has indeed. Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I absolutely like the thought there. Go after them before they really know what hit them because they took the ball away after the turnover, took their shot, hoping to catch the defense a little bit unsettled. Weren't successful in doing it, but they did let them know that they will be aggressive. Connor up the middle. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Throwing now is Murray. Able to get this one to McBride. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Murray a give. This is Connor. 
And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Here's second and seven. Here's Murray. Dancing to his left. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. to get what he did on that run. Murray now. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Now that's a killer, because you think you get it absolutely covered, and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. And Murray's going to keep this. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray. A four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Cardinals are able to build on to their fourth-quarter lead. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. The ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Crater for the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 26. But it's caught, Tompkins. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it at its second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal, don't necessarily need a touchdown. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. On the left side, a catch by White. Only able to gain a couple there. And third and eight now. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, Mayfield. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. 
How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing, Mayfield. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. So the completion good for six yards, and it brings up third and five now. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll come up facing third and five. Mayfield looks to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. And that one, just an absolute killer. A chance to get this back within one score. All hope not gone yet, but at the same time, you're exactly right. They needed to get back within one score and have a motivated defense take the field in order to get it back for them for one last big drive. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start by running the option to the right. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. On first and 10 is counter, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Prater's kick is good. Back now on EA Sports as the kick teams are out here following the two-minute warning. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. On the return, here's Tompkins. 
And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by two touchdowns, just under two minutes to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Mayfield. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Mayfield. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Here now, third down. Here's Baker. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw taken in by Palmer. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Mayfield to throw. Complete right side to Otten. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Mayfield. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hand steam ready. No doubt about it. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Down to a knee, here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Down to Anigo's Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your own crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.